We are a beekeeping school in Germany. Okay. Oh, ten thousand, ten thousand members. Oh. Yeah. So why shall I go to you to test my honey? Because uh, you have to test the diastase test. The diastase is a quality parameter of the honey. So you know that the, they haven't heated. So the the, MLA, the enzymes, the MLAs that are in the honey. Yeah, but a beekeeper is not heating honey. No. No, yeah, normally. But, no, normally. But if you are heating. Ah, if you are heating. <laughs> oh. Then, then you, you spoil the idea with, with the honey. Yeah, the that's, healthy, that's the healthy, true. Yeah, the healthy effects. That's true. So, uh, how you should choose a feather base test? That uh -huh. There are this international honey country yeah. has two tests. Yes. And one is feather base, the other is the shadowman. So it's described in here. And what's the difference between the, these two tests? The, the difference you can see here. Feather base has higher quality, is twice as good precision at uh -huh. the test. Uh -huh. It's cost effective because and it saves time. It saves time? Yeah. Because, That's important. Yeah, because the shadow method you have to prepare your reagent mm -hmm. and uh, you can only have it for one analysis. Uh -huh. Then you have to make a, another one, a new one, because it's unstable. Uh -huh. But our piece, they look like this. Piece? This is the reagent. This is the field that you are using. You can have it for a couple of years. And uh, what are you doing with it? Yeah, so this is how it looks like. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you take your honey, one gram, dissolve uh -huh. it in 100 milliliters of acetate buffer. Yes. Then you take five milliliters of that diluted uh, honey. Put in a test tube, put in a pill, stir it, and then you incubate it for 30 minutes in uh, 40 degrees. Uh -huh. And then you take your sample, centrifuge it, and then you uh, shake the absorbance. Uh -huh. And then. Here, here's ah. the instruction for use. Ah. And here's a table where you then can read, you have your absorbance, and then you know the diastase figure. This? This is a practice a bit like with Baumarkt. Now we do this all yourself, right? You buy the tablets, and you need only a centrifuge. Do you speak Dutch? A bit. Then you need only the centrifuge, centrifuge and the other thing. Uh, and then can you can try it as well. You can, you can uh, filter it as well. You don't need to centrifuge it. Uh -huh. But if, if you're running a couple of, of samples, it's, I mean, it's easier to just put it in the centrifuge and then... Uh, Where are you from? Sweden. From Sweden? Sweden. Maybe. You are applying for Epimondia. <laughs> and here's a half Dutch and half Swedish, my colleague. Oh. He is also applying for Epimondia. <laughs> Me? Yes. The door, yes, Sweden, uh, Sweden and, and yeah. Denmark are applying. Yeah, and true. you are the president. Uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe in okay. future. In future. <laughs> the future president. Da guckt her. The zukünftige president. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Okay, uh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice but I, I, think, I think my clients will not, uh, no, not, not, keep, not, not need it. No, no, no. But you know. You have it if you need it. Yes, and that's we, true. And we can check the quality of your honey. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Who are you then? Jürgen Binder, Germany. From what company? Germany. Yeah. Beekeeping School. Beekeeping. Ludwig Armbruster Beekeeping School. The okay. biggest beekeeping school in Germany. Ah, okay. In what city?